Hi everyone, so as you know, I've been doing my coffee and cake series where I went round to a series of establishments drinking coffee and cakes and then rating my experience. So one of the things that I really enjoyed about the experience was just how interesting it was to go to the different coffee shops and just see how people are serious about their coffee. <laughs> Let me just say that not only is it a billion dollar industry, billion pound industry in the UK, but also it's just the fact that, you know, serious coffee drinkers, you could tell. So if you went at specific times, like I did a few times during um, before work, you would see how like intense people were. And then if you go at lunchtime as well, you would also see that people are, there's all sorts of things. You have people that are going in there doing their um, work on their laptop, people that are just going into there to relax. Um, but yeah, so I just want to say that I went to 10 coffee shops in the end. Um, some of them were coffee shops, actually, a few of them were um, establishments. So I went to Mowgli Restaurant in um, Grand Central, Birmingham, Night Coffee House, which is in Birmingham, Rising Cafe, which is in Aston, Birmingham, Cafelia, which is in Moseley in Birmingham, Elio, Ca Elio Cafe, which is in the mailbox, Java Roastery, which is near to town and um, Birmingham City Centre, Number One Coffee, which is also near Birmingham City Centre, One Coffee, which is in Newtown, Coffee Tales, which is in the Jewellery Quarter, and Brew House Kitchen, which is in Sutton. So all I'm going to do is kind of just give ratings, not ratings because I've done the ratings video, but just an overall awards really for um, the best cakes and that sort of thing. So the best cake, I think I'm going to have to do a joint uh, winner for that. So my favourite cake was Elio Cafe, which after I did my review, lots of people actually went to that cafe and said that they loved it. So Elio Cafe in the mailbox, beautiful chocolate cake. It was a nice thick slice and I, literally <laughs> it took me three days to eat it because I did not want to eat it. I didn't want to finish it because it was so gorgeous. So it was moist, it was juicy. It was one of, the, actually that is probably the best cake I've ever um, tasted. So it was Oreo chocolate cake. But um, in combination with that, I have to give um, praise to Java Roastery, their carrot cake. I've been back three times so far to have a slice of their carrot cake. Again, a nice thick slice. It was only like, I think it's 3 95 or in fact, was it 3 75 Really tasty, put a lot of homemade effort into it. And the other one, which I know I shouldn't have free, Knight's Coffee um, House, their banana cake. Now it was just so tasty because it was a cake, sponge cake, but it had banana flavourings in there. So it was not like banana bread. It was literally like a cake. that just, it, I can't even describe it, but it was gorgeous. That was actually the nicest banana cake I've tasted. So they're the winners for the cakes. Elio Cafe for their chocolate cake. And Java Roastery for their carrot cake. And Knight's Coffee House for their banana cake. So service, let's talk about service. Number one for service, Elio Cafe again. Now, I'll tell you the reason why is because I went in there at like eight o'clock in the morning. So imagine it was packed with like commuters before they go to work. You had people coming and going. So it was very packed. Despite this, the service was fantastic. Nice greeting, welcoming, um, you know, asked me what I wanted, served really quickly um, to the table, smiles, said bye when I left. And this was despite how packed it was. You felt special going into Elio Cafe. I would go there again. I felt really comfortable in there, really relaxed. So that's why they get the um, award for service. So in terms of the worst service, because I'm not really going to do worst for all of them, I have to say that some of these coffee shops I was really surprised with. So Cafelia, I have to talk about that because I went into that Mosley Cafe and I used to live in Mosley. So I understand that it's very much like Mosley Village and everyone knows each other. However, I was surprised at the bad service. I walked in and they're in the middle of conversations with customers and it took about five to 10 minutes before I was even acknowledged that I'd walked in. After that, she was kind of asking me what I want quickly, got my order, then carried on talking to lots of other people. I sat and nothing came over to me. Then eventually she brought the coffee over, then didn't bring the cake. 10 minutes later, I'm still waiting for my cake. She's having these gossipy chats with, um, you know, staff. And then I had to go up and say, could you bring my cake over? Now, I've never had to do that before. So to me, I don't think that's acceptable. Um, and I just felt like it was like a cliquey type thing. They've got their customers that come in there regularly. You shouldn't go into a coffee shop or any shop, to be fair, if you're spending money and not feel special. 
So that's why Cophelia um, is not somewhere that I would say was good service. Um, in terms of all the other service wise, yeah, it was it was good. I can't complain about any of the other um, service. Oh yeah, sorry, I can. <laughs> Brew House Coffee. So Brew House Coffee was not an establishment that we were planning on going to, me and my sister. It was for my sister's birthday. We went somewhere else, but that didn't look too good. So we changed our mind. We went to Brew House Cut Kitchen, I think it's called. Um, first of all, they messed up the order because they overcharged us. So we, so that's a no-no, you know, to overcharge. I thought, how's this come up to this amount of money? So we had to go back up. Fair enough, they dealt with it properly, but they shouldn't have done it in the first place. But the service-wise was just, it was all over the place. The uh, table was dirty. So that's another thing. The food was stale, like my sister ordered food and it just, that was grubby, stale. She feels it was from the day before. Um, they didn't really come over and check how's everything. Um, it just It just felt like they couldn't be bothered. They couldn't be bothered with um, cleaning the table. They couldn't be bothered with presenting nice food. They couldn't be bothered with checking on their customers. So for me, if you're not gonna treat me special in your establishment, then I'm not gonna return. I'm not gonna make a big deal if there's nothing to complain about. I just won't come back. So yeah, the service wasn't very good. So let's talk about, um, so we've done the cakes, coffee. I need to talk about the coffee. So every establishment I've been into, there's usually, you'll either get the basic, in, in certain coffee shops you have the range, I mean you can have all types of gorgeous different types of coffees which you may never try before. In ordinary um, places, you will I'll just go for the cappuccino or the mocha because they're in every establishment. Now, Java Roastery, obviously they're a specialist in coffee, that's where they're a roastery. Spanish latte. I googled it, <laughs> I googled the different types of lattes, I was so excited because they said it was sweet, it's creamy, it's something like 600 calories just for a cup of it, They're, everyone was talking about this Spanish latte, it's the only establishment actually that sells it and that's because obviously they specialise, oh my gosh, it was the most tastiest coffee, creamiest that I've ever had in my life. I sat there, even before my carrot cake arrived, and I was just drinking it, and I was just like, I, I could do with another one, except I'm not gonna pay another six pounds. <laughs> it was something like six pounds a cup. Absolutely beautiful. So if you wanna try something different, Spanish latte, there's lots of different lattes. You've got the vanilla latte, you've got all the rest, but the Spanish latte, there was just something about that. So that was my favorite coffee. An overall experience now, or atmosphere, the weirdest atmosphere was Coffee Tales. That was my first one, but I just thought it was really eerie. There was no music playing. Actually, Coffee Tales and um, Number One Coffee were both weird. You just go in there, there's no like music, there's a bit weird atmosphere. There's, it's a very small place, Coffee Tales, and you've got like four people were in there. And it was like a wake or a morgue in there. It was so like, no one talking, no music, and just, five random people all just sat in this uh, uh, <laughs> probably because it was my first one and I wasn't used to like what was going to happen I found that really strange so atmosphere wise out of all of them I'd say Elio Cafe great atmosphere I could have sat in there for a while Java Roastery loved the atmosphere because I sat in there felt comfortable felt like I could sit there for a while Knight's Coffee as well I could sit in there and Mowgli I forgot to mention them as well about service Mowgli, Mowgli restaurant for the service but yeah overall I'd have to say out of all of the ones on my list I'm gonna have to say Elio Ca um, Cafe gets the top spot it had everything it had the service it had the nice um, cake it had the light like, decent coffee it had the right atmosphere and it was beautifully decorated so yeah that gets the number one spot, Elio Cafe. But yeah, I've really enjoyed it. And I may do something similar towards the end of the year, whether I check out, um, go for lunch, whether I check out cocktails, I might do something different. If you've got an idea of what you want me to do, then let me know and then maybe I'll take that on board. Thanks for watching. Bye.